Arriving in Beijing on Friday night, the Chinese Kuomintang Party delegation had a very packed schedule during their two-day visit, from meeting with the mainland officials as well as Taiwan youth and entrepreneurs to touring automobile manufacturers and an exhibition. The group has expressed the hope of enhanced cross-strait exchanges and cooperation. One of the highlights are the new measures to boost cross-strait tourism after the Chinese mainland announced it will resume tourism for residents of Fujian province to Taiwan's Mazu. Once the direct sea route linking Fujian's Pingtan Island and Taiwan reopens, the mainland will also resume group tours for Fujian residents to the region. The delegation told the General Administration of Customs during their meeting that facilitating the entry of agricultural and fishery products from Taiwan to the Chinese mainland is another important goal. The Chinese mainland announced it will lawfully approve the import of certain products from Taiwan that meets its quarantine requirements, such as Wendan pomulus. And he said this should be based on the common political foundation of adhering to the 1992 consensus and opposing Taiwan independence. During the two-day visit, the delegation also paid close attention to the Chinese mainland's automotive industry. They visited new energy vehicle manufacturers, experienced driverless cars, and even squeezed in a trip to the outskirts of Beijing for the international auto show currently taking place there. In the past, Tesla was the only giant in the field of new energy vehicles, and their vehicles are expensive. But as you can see, we now have BYD, Xiaomi, and so on, which are more affordable. That means ordinary people can also have new energy cars. There were attempts in Taipei to develop unmanned driving for public buses, but unfortunately, it didn't progress any further. I believe it's definitely a future trend. So our visit has been very rewarding for us. We'll return with our related experiences to develop our cities. Fu Kunqi, who led the delegation for the visit, says both sides of the Taiwan Strait should join hands to compete with the world, not against each other. What we hope for most is the comprehensive and deepened development between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait, not only in people-to-people -people exchanges, but also in cooperation across various industries. Any future challenges would not be a problem for us as the Chinese nation. Fu stressed he hopes the two sides will jointly safeguard peace in the Taiwan Strait and promote relations based on peaceful development.